Hello and welcome to my video comparison when it comes to lead pages versus WordPress. So this is an interesting one that's come up a few times. So I kind of want to give you my thoughts about this. There's going to be some overlap and it's hard to say that one is just better overall, given the fact that a lot of these tools have a lot of room for more features, especially when it comes to WordPress. So first and foremost, lead pages is going to be a great tool if you want to use landing pages. They have plenty of templates. I've talked about them before. They're simple. They're easy to create. They, you can sort them by conversion rate. So you know you're going to have a much higher chance of converting better. They have plenty of other tools that'll help you out like their alert bars and their pop-ups. They also do have the ability to create websites. And this is where going to be a lot of the comparison is talked about, which won't take too long. So this is a nice little benefit when it comes to utilizing lead pages that not a lot of people know about all in all. When you get started with the smaller plan, I believe you get one website and it's cool that it has the option. So what I do want to say about the lead pages websites. They are nice. They're professional looking. And I think they're great if you just want that in addition to creating some landing pages. On the other hand, when it comes to using WordPress, you're most likely going to need some type of hosting and usually maybe a theme, whether it's free or premium. And then from there, one of the biggest things I always recommend when it comes to WordPress, that if you're going to be a blogger and you're looking to get SEO traffic, there is no better solution than WordPress and having your own hosting to create your domain and go from there. The ability to get organic traffic from places like Google, Bing, and everywhere else is just astronomical, especially when you know what you're doing, you know how to rank. And that's just something that lead pages won't be able to keep up with. However, on the other hand, like I said, say you wanted to create some landing pages and you're not big on blogging, you just want a nice professional website, lead pages is going to be great for that, as you can see by a lot of the templates. And the cool thing about this is that they use the same editor when it comes to their landing pages and their websites. You don't have to worry about too much that way. It's kind of just throw it together, check out one of these templates that you happen to like, maybe change around the colors, change around the pictures, and then you can go from there. So all in all, what am I recommending in terms of which tool you should use? First and foremost, if you're primarily all about landing pages, then yeah, I'd say lead pages is going to be a great place to start. While WordPress can handle landing pages, you're probably going to need some other type of plugin, maybe a theme or something you're going to have to upgrade and pay. It's much more difficult to compare, you know, since we're talking about WordPress and if I was comparing something else, it would be a completely different tool. Like there are other plugins you can utilize, but we're not comparing those, we're comparing WordPress. My thoughts, if you just want landing pages, definitely go ahead and try lead pages. They do have a free 14 day trial. I will put the link down below. Also, if you just want maybe like a nice little professional website that's most already put together, it's not going to be too difficult to create, then yes, lead pages will help you with the one website you get. However, if you plan on being a blogger, an expert, you want organic traffic, you want to do SEO, I cannot recommend WordPress enough when it comes to getting hosting and having your own website to be able to do that because organic traffic is a great thing, especially when you're getting a lot of it from Google. So all in all, that's it. If you're a blogger, you want that organic traffic, you're going to be doing a ton of blog posts, go with WordPress. And on the other hand, if you just want some landing pages, you love building landing pages, you want to collect leads and you love simplicity like this, then lead pages will probably be your go-to here. Or maybe you want the best of both worlds. You can always use lead pages for all your landing page needs. And then of course, a WordPress blog for blogging and getting that organic traffic. So I hope this video helps you out. Those are kind of the big differences, some of the overlaps, in my opinion, based upon using a lot of software tools and getting organic traffic and blogging for pretty much a decade now. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this helped you out.